Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I create my flaxseed gel. Just want to say that remember all the ingredients here can always be substituted for different oils, different water infusions, and different extracts to make it your own. But here's what I like to do and all the ingredients that I use. Make sure that you guys subscribe if you guys want to see more Formulate With Me videos for hair care and cosmetic products in the future. And make sure you check out all the links down below to find out where I find the, buy these products and more about the mentorship and everything else that you need to know so that you can be a boss queen and be part of the boss queen community. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I won't talk too much, but enjoy the video. Thank you guys for watching. Now that you guys know the ingredients, let's get into making the gel. So I've already pre-measured my water and aloe vera juice, and I did off camera just because it was so much, but pretty much you want to do one fourth cup of flax seeds to two and a half cups of water or aloe vera juice or any type of water infusion that you would like to add to your flax seed gel. So for me, I had to separate the water, the distilled water and the aloe vera juice bit just because I didn't want to heat up the aloe vera juice and lose its properties. So depending on the type of liquid you use, make sure you keep that in mind, the ingredients that you're using, and if you need to be heating them up with the water or separate. But here is my flax seeds that I have already measured out as well. The formulation and the measurements that I'm showing you guys today made around 11 eight ounce bottles. Um, just so you know, so it does make quite a big batch. Once you've measured out your water and your flax seeds, you wanna start boiling them over medium to high heat so that you can start to get and see some of the mucilage that you're gonna use for the gel. Meanwhile, that is boiling, you're going to start measuring out all your oils and all your special ingredients that you will be wanting to add to this gel to create the perfect product. Now for the cool down phase, all those special extracts and vitamins that you want to bring to the gel, this is where you are going to add this to the cool down phase of your formulation.
Before we move on to the second part of our cool down phase, we're just going to check the flax seeds one more time. And you'll start to see and you'll want to see this thick foamy substance on the top of the flaxseed gel. And this means that it's almost time to pull it off the heat and start to strain it. All right, and this is my preservative of choice. Whenever you use anything that includes water, you will need a preservative. So do your research, figure out the preservative that you want to use. But I chose Optifin for this formulation. Now that you have the preservative, we are going to measure out the glycerin and xanthan gum, and this will be our thickener so that we can start to thicken our gel. After it has already been taken off the heat and strained, we will add this so that our gel will not be kind of sticky and mucus-like. This is what brings that gel-like texture to the flaxseed gel. Now you really want to mix it up here so that you get a really nice thick paste and make sure that there's no leftover xanthan gum so that when you add this to your gel, it will blend in nicely. So this is the paste, the thickener that we'll be adding to the gel to give it its texture and its gel-like texture when it comes out of the bottle. And one thing to keep in mind is you can experiment with other gums like guar gum, or any other gum that you want to try and experiment with to figure to see different textures and how it will change your gel. Time for the fun part, time to strain this gel. There are different ways you can do it, but because I'm making a big batch, I did not want to use the sock method where you use the, the cotton pantyhose to strain because I am trying to do something for my business and keep it as sanitary as possible. I am using a strainer and I will strain it like this. It is helpful to have another person help you with this because it is really hot and I had to have my husband help pour so that I can also smash some of the flax seeds. You can always reuse these flax seeds for next batches or even to continue. Now that the flax seeds are all strained, this is what it looks like. You just want to mix it up. I just used the handheld mixer just so that we didn't get any weird coloring or textures because when I did use the emulsifying blender, it did turn it into more of a cream. So I just used the handheld one and my temperature gun to measure the temperature of the gel so that I can start to add my extracts and preservative. You always want to check the usage rate as well as when you need to add your products to the mix and how hot the products need to be when you can add them. Every ingredient that you use, especially preservatives and as well as some extracts, have certain temperatures and certain phases of when you can actually add it to the formulation. So always make sure that you know what that is when you order these products off of the website so that you add them to your formula in the correct 
So for some reason, the footage got deleted or I didn't record it, but I did add in the pro vitamin B5 as well as the other ingredients such as the glycerin into the mix here as well as the oil. So I don't know why it didn't get recorded, but that's what was in those speakers. Can you guys tell the difference in the texture of the gel from the beginning to now? You can see it's starting to look more thick and more gel-like. All right, time to package up the gel. I like to use this cosmetic filling machine. If you're interested in purchasing one or getting one for yourself, for your brand, I am a vendor for these and the link is down below in the description box, but I will be coming out with the review video on this as well because I have used it for a couple products now and I want to share about the experience and what I think about this machine, but I think it helps um, even though I'm making a mess here, it really does help with the packaging part of doing this, especially when you are selling you know, a lot of products, it does cut down on time and everything like that. So look into this if you are interested. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something. Go out there and try to make your own flaxseed gel. Substitute with the water and aloe vera juice. Use different extracts. Bring some uniqueness and creativity to your own flaxseed gels. If you guys like this video, make sure you guys subscribe and like to my channel and turn on the bell notification so you never miss out on another boss queen video thank you guys so much and see you in the next video bye